What's cracking, Nap Town? It is Sunday morning, week 18. I've got 82 days until the competition. That's still a lot of time. I feel really good about the compositions I've got going. And I'd like to think that this week I am going to thicken up my Hesitation Blues composition. And that is going to be fun because Hesitation Blues is fun. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I have, with the help of my... Oh, let's start this off with some gratitude. The gratitude. You know what I'm grateful for this week? The weird guitar historians who there's this whole selection of people who learned how to play guitar from Reverend Gary Davis and Pink Anderson and these old blind guys and and those people that learned how to play guitar from them became really cool guitar teachers that and they're like the only ones who play the country blues and it's it's just really cool how there's this selection of people Roy Book Binder, Stefan Grossman, uh, Woody Mann, R.I.P., uh, Happy Traub. You know, there's like this whole selection of people that that all learned from the Reverend Gary Davis that became really cool guitar teachers. And uh, I like the I like the historian slash guitar player aspect of that. Without those guys, we just wouldn't have a lot of music, you know? Some of those guys play songs that they learned from Reverend Gary Davis that the Reverend Gary Davis never recorded. Like, come on, that's cool. All right, this week or since the last update or whatever, I put some weird guitar strings on my guitar and they instantly cut big nasty gashes in my index fingers. And so I couldn't practice for a couple days behind that and cut those strings right off and put on some Martin lights. Call it a deal. Um. I, I never really had strings mess me up like that. So, the Adario XS, I don't think I'm going to be giving them a second chance. This week, hmm, I better, you know what? I better get the list. I don't trust my memory. Let's see what the list says. Um, you know, I started growing just like a little nub and a fingernail on the leading edge of my picking hand. Not enough to be noticeable, but enough to like reinforce the flesh there. I don't know how else to say it. I don't want my nails to touch the strings. But I need a little bit, of li like a little couple millimeters of nail to like make sure I don't give myself a bunion or something weird like that. So that's a, that's a weird thing. I have a little bit of fingernails, but they don't touch the strings if I can avoid it. Um, I need to circle back to the triplet cascading scale thing that the guitar therapist was trying to teach me a few weeks ago, a month ago. And I never really put in the time to get the muscle memory, thumb index, thumb index, thumb index, thumb index on the triplets. And I, I need to circle back and get that tight because now I see, now I see how that's the next step to the cascading thing that I need to do to thicken up my Nobody knows you when you're down and out arrangement. I have been 
putting together the songs for my EP in different orders and listening to them and trying to figure out what the right order is and that's weird so I'm gonna I'm gonna I've got like this I've only got five of the six songs in the list but I've got this list I'm gonna send to my partner and have him listen to it see if I can get some feedback on that uh, started a new song list I feel like I need to start putting together 12 or 15 or more songs and turn this EP into a proper album and I'm like off and running on that project like I've got lists and lists of ideas and I'm starting to flesh them out a little at a time but I know I need to get on it because this EP took me you know solid I'm gonna say five six extra months as compared to what i expected i'm obviously way happier with it now than i was six months ago but it did take a heck of a lot more time so i need to get these initial ideas up and running fleshed out get the concepts on my mind so i can cut away the ones that don't fit and start woodshedding the ones that do and I guess that's about it for the week. It's been for like in my in my personal life has been like family stuff all week. All week it's been family stuff all week. And that's just the way it is sometimes. So and that's the way it's gonna be more and more. You know, the parents are getting old and I'm the only kid here. So that's what's gonna happen, right? So that's a, that's a wild thing to wrap your head around. But let's say I get sequestered in the country taking care of things. You know, I can play guitar out there. It don't matter. I, I, they, uh, they just got fiber. So worst case scenario, I can still work with my writing partner and no issues there. So that ain't bad. Oh, yeah, and life's about to go wild anyway. Mr. Producer, man, I'm thinking about you, buddy. Hope everything's all right. All right. I'll talk to you real soon.